Hey guys, it is Wednesday, August 23rd. This, I know, is late for a vlog, you know, a late vlog. But I'm just going to say what went on so far. Still haven't returned to work. It's one thing or another, will this say, with my illnesses. So, we'll just forget about that. I'm still playing trio... Heart, or spirit story of seasons trio of towns I can't, I'm sort of close to beating it like I mean in a way I mean there's sure there is a lot to do you can play for years literally but I'm like two festivals or two winning festivals away from completing my final farm tips and completing the main part of the game so I'm doing very well with that. As you noticed, I did get my hair cut today. It was, well, it, since I last saw ya, but it was today. So you didn't miss anything new that way. My aunt, I said, my aunt from Ontario is still okay so far. I don't really know what, I, well, I am starting to go try to get into a sleeping routine. Now, I'm saying this as I'm up at 11 o'clock. I am getting ready for bed soon. Like, I am going to try to go to sleep soon. But, the other day, I was up from... Okay, we'll just say... Yesterday, I was up all day. And I was up the day before that. So, I was up since... I was up from Tuesday afternoon to Tuesday afternoon till, wait, no, Monday afternoon until Tuesday at 8. So, I was up more than 24 hours, I think. Just a bit better than 24 hours. And I actually got to sleep at 8 o'clock, which is a new for me. And... Then I went to bed. I actually woke up at nine. It stayed up. I had my moments, right? Like I had to take a couple allergy tablets at noon today, so I thought I would go to sleep. And my aunt even gave me the okay to, and I stayed awake, which is good. Like I managed to stay awake, so hopefully my routine will get into. I'll get a good routine. I can do more when I'm up longer in a way, and I feel. Strange to say this, I feel sort of better when I am up in the morning rather than up in the afternoon. Like, I mean, I sort of feel up, but it lasts like maybe two hours tops. Once I get awake, unless I'm not feeling good, then I stay awake. I've been only eat. I'm not. I haven't been eating after ten for the last few days, which were the last three or four days since I last did a vlog update. So. I'm not really dieting, as I said, not at this point, because, as I said, like, one, like one thing at a time before actually cutting down the food, or, like, it's a, like, it's, it's a good thing not eating after 10. Like, it, it, like, it's hard to explain. Those who've been on diets and been told this stuff will understand. Like, it can get through my digestive system better, I guess, than eating, like, at 1 in the morning. Yes, I have, there's been times where I've would do that. I will confess I have had a problem that way. So there were quite a few changes. One thing that hasn't really changed, which I hope maybe will soon, is that I haven't been doing much for my channel. I've been taking more, we'll say, time for myself. I mean, there's a lot of priorities that I have to get to before I do anything. Maybe I'll make an update on that. I am still trying to do some for my channel, believe me, right, but I'm just getting at it slowly. What else should I add, if there's anything very significant? Well, I'm not going to go into names or anything, but I have called my mental health center. I am trying to really get up to it and try to get myself in for an evaluation. It can take years for that, I know. 
and it has been years. And I just want to show them that, like, I'm serious, right? I want to be taken seriously in a way, but for like the last year at least, I mean, a couple of years ago, it wasn't as bad in a way because it just, like, I just got done with my last psychiatrist and I thought I had answers in a way, but it hasn't really been set in stone, really, and it hasn't been properly done. So I, I want it to be, I want to see someone that I'll hopefully see again, right, and that, who takes the evaluation seriously and doesn't just, like, I'm, I said I'm not mentioning any names in there. The last person I saw in 2015, all he, all I can say is it's a he, all he really did was, like, and, okay, I know it's obvious that I should say what I want to be tested for. That is a big thing, but I was trying to keep an open mind then. I was trying to let him, like, think what I should be tested for. And he was just like, what do you want to be tested for? What do you want to be tested for? Like, it's such a brace, or was it brass or abrasive? Or, I don't know how to say the word. Like, he was just, I can't say heartless cannot say cold necessarily but he just sounded like he just wanted to get it done you know like he and he would ask me questions yes but sometimes I wonder really if he was even listening to me he, he was in a way right but it's like he I'm trying to think it seemed for the first half hour maybe he was listening to me like, at least looked like he was. And as soon as he got out of my mouth what I wanted to be tested for, it's like he didn't hear anything else. Didn't really listen any other way. Like, as soon as he said, well, the autistic spec, like, I was like, the autistic spectrum, maybe Asperger's syndrome, and see, and then not long after I said, oh, ADHD, he said, oh, let's stick with the Asperger's syndrome. He didn't even think to test me for anything else. Now, I know if I do have Asperger's or autism, it can explain a lot of traits that would come with ADHD. But there have been people who were diagnosed with both. And there were people who were misdiagnosed. I mean, let's just put it this way. I could have been labeled as Asperger's syndrome and all that, and people would believe I had it, then turn around and say, oh, you were never autistic, Haley, or Jazz. That, that's just an example. I would feel crummy. I would feel like I was a lie. And I would feel bad for everyone else who believed that. Like, I just want it to be taken seriously for I'll be properly, if like, if I have anything properly labeled, that way I can learn how to handle myself. Like, if it, all it is is ADHD and, in, in, oh, like, if all it is is ADHD and perhaps generalized anxiety, social anxiety, OCD, that, that's just an example I would have to deal with it. I mean, I'm, there's times where I think that I'm pretty much just an introvert. That, that I am, for sure, an introvert. But, there, as I said, like there were moments, like, I was talking to one of my YouTube friends who was in a similar boat, and I'm not bringing up names this time for, for reasons. And he was just saying that, he knows him and I are both introverts. And I don't take offense to, offense to that. Because it's true. Right? And then I'm just thinking, is that all I am? I feel, it's not an offensive way. I'm thinking, could it be that I'm just introverted and not, I may not be on the spectrum? Like, I never really thought or understood completely introvert being an introvert. Like, I, I heard the word. And, 
you know, it's like you don't think of a word, and, but once you hear it, you kind of know it. That That's how the situation was. But then again, there are traits I have that do not really fall under introverts, being an introvert. I can't say, I don't know if it's introvertism. I, I don't know if that's even a correct term, so I'll say like being introvert. Like, I get totally attached to certain subjects. I, I could rarely compromise on things. Like, with, in, I mean, I guess I should research intro, being an introvert more. Not that I want to be one. I mean, no, everyone would prefer to be social. But I could be wrong. I don't want to say, I don't want to label someone who's an introvert in, in one box. Same thing, like, with any other disability. I don't say introversism is, I think, just a pe way of mind. I pretty much think, I don't know if it's even really a disability. There's, like, I'm sure people if it ha who's an introvert may have them. Some might, but, or other disabilities. But I don't think that is a disability itself. But, but same thing, like, everyone is different in the whole world. Even identical twins to a degree. That, that's just what I believe. They have their own things they like, right? Their own personalities. Like, for example, Brittany and who's the other one? The, the, I, the conjoined twins. Abby, Brittany and Abby. They are different. They look identical. They're attached to the hip and everywhere else. They are different. Completely different in their mind. So, that is, like, that's the thing. I don't want to really say, oh, all introverts are like that a certain way. But there could be traits, right, that I may be wrong that introverts might have that I don't think they do. But there's just some things about me that, not saying that I'm not an introvert, I I wouldn't deny it, but I don't think it is just that. I think there is more to it. And I mean, if it, and let's say I am just an introvert, yippity doo da. It's, it'd be kind of weird thinking that it, that mindset kept me from doing things all this time, but at least I would understand. Like, it's funny when someone brings something up to you, right? And you're, th you're thinking, yeah, that. That might make sense. But as I said, like, I said, there's a lot of things I want to be evaluated for. Not, well, not a whole, whole lot. But things I might want to go on and ask. Like, I definitely think, okay, I know I don't have the type where you would be really concerned. But I definitely know I have anxiety issues. That, I would definitely try to get evaluated. By how far and like and what I think I will ask to be tested for depression because there are moments where I just really feel like down like it's never serious that I want to end it all but there's moments where you can't enjoy things that I genuinely would always enjoy like I'm trying to think of an example there's moments where it, I think it affects my YouTube channel the most. Because I love, like, my YouTube channel is a part of me. But there's moments where I just don't want to do it. Like, I just, just, I just feel really down. And I'd rather watch YouTube videos or play a game, for example. And maybe it's the fact that I haven't taken enough time for myself that way. I've been always overly concerned about the channel. And don't take this the wrong way. And don't, don't take two things I'm about to say the wrong way. One, I love you guys in a way. And you are important. That's why I don't want you to take the next thing the wrong way. I should really realize that this channel isn't really important in hindsight of my life. Of my health. It isn't the most important thing in the world. Now, as I said, this is something I do plan on continuing. But I should just maybe put it in my mind that oh, it's okay to take a week or two off or more if I really need it. And it'll give me time to maybe think of new ideas. Learn new things. Like, I've never spent so much time on games just for myself in my life. And I'm serious. I've lived 25 years. And I learned to appreciate them a little bit more. Like what they can bring to you. And 
like I find like I said I thought I was gonna to go to sleep this afternoon. I got on Story of Seasons Trio of Towns and I was playing it for three hours straight and it kept me awake. So it 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 can do great things, right? I mean half the time like I got my hair cut tonight and I played the game while I was getting my hair cut. Now I know it sounds a little silly and I wasn't like at a sh at a shop or anything. I was at home and my aunt's sister did it. And I just found that it, like, usually sometimes I have anxiety about things like that, especially when I don't know how my stomach's going to do. But playing that game seems to relax me in that way, where I, the, I can get things done. So, I'm trying to think if there is anything else that I want to talk about. Not really, except, oh yes, the, Sim, the Sims 4 toddler stuff is coming out. Well, by the time you see this, it'll be out. It's coming out tomorrow, and I'm excited for it. I'm definitely getting it. Like, I don't think I've ever been really this excited for an item pack. I said an item pack, not a game pack or an expansion pack in my life. It, oh yes, also... On the Sims 4 thing, the expansion pack of cats and dogs have been announced for November 10th. They did a convention and they did a live stream, I guess. I never really watched the live stream. Yeah, kind of like that, but it was announced all over YouTube. And, like, finally, like, we're getting somewhere. Now... I like what it's showing so far. One thing, though, is that we can't control them, which I am iffy about, but it, that's just a small thing in comparison to what we're getting. One thing I'm wondering, though, is if they can breed. I mean, I know it sounds silly to wonder, because dogs can breed and cats can breed together in real life, but, one, you can't control them, so... Like, I don't know if you'll have an option to push on them. Like, you can't control them as a pet. You can't go through a pet's point of view is pretty much the thing. So I don't know if the humans can, if the creator can click, or if the owners can click for them to breed with another dog or something. And how would animals get their relationship up with each other? Or do they have a relationship with each other? I mean, okay, they interact, yes. But do, like, can they grow a relationship like Sims can? I don't know. Because if you can't go into their point of view, I guess you can see their needs, though. So maybe you can click on them to see their needs and their stats and their relationships, but you can't really, like, do anything with them, I don't think. I don't know if that's the case. I sort of hope that at least we can click on them to see relationship panels and needs. Needs, I know, has been confirmed we can see. That way I know they can have a relationship with other animals. Like, it showed them interacting in the trailer they had. So, they can inter- Like, this, I guess the Sims company wanted to make the animals random and realistic. And that was good, right? And, as I said, like, I did a video on uh, that's already on the channel... That showed that I went through a whole sim day with them in total control. It was interesting. So, in a way, pets are like that all the time. And it'll be interesting to see what type of stuff they get into. Or don't. As half my sims didn't do a thing that was really funny or off the whack. Except for staying up till 4 or something in the morning on the computer. But that's me, as I said. I joke that is totally me in a majority of the time. So, but anyway, I think that really is about it. I will see you guys in, my next, in the next clip.